Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise against defying your new boss. At least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? How about I bring your corpse back to the woodlands instead? You're not going to kill me. You'd bet your life on that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Maybe you didn't carry it out. But I don't think Georgie was lying when he said you ordered their deaths. Georgie would have said anything to save himself. We both know that. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. As long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. And I don't think I'm being unreasonable. If you decide to do something stupid, like murder me, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? Or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? Oh, I don't think so. We're not doing this your way. How unfortunate. I was hoping we could make... What are you gonna do now? Rip me apart like some kind of animal? Killing me here would achieve nothing. And what would Miss White think? This is it for you! You... You've said enough! Big B. Oh, come on! Where is he? Are you fucking kidding me? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, any minute. And then we'll get started. I really appreciate you taking the time. I know it's short notice, but given the circumstances... What have you done? Oh, God. Bigby. Shit. He killed him. Holy shit. I didn't think you had it in you, Bigby. Stop it! You ripped him apart! 
I told you to bring him back alive. You really fucked him up. What did you do? He's all... You did this to him? It's over. Crooked man is dead. No shit. I thought I wanted him gone. But this... It's terrible. No, it isn't. What the hell happened? Tell me. Tell me why you did this. I had to do this. He was a danger to all of us. I couldn't risk bringing him back here unless I removed the threat. And you felt comfortable making that call on your own? Look at him. Oh, God. Would it have been that hard to restrain him? Did you really have to murder the man? Hang on. It's not murder. Then what would you call it? Justice, maybe? This is not justice! You know it's not. Why not? This is Bigby Wolf doing whatever the hell he wants. I say it is justice, and that's the end of it. Are you serious? That is not the end of it. What are you getting on his case about? He did the right thing here. If this fucker killed Lily... And Faith. How can we be sure of that? Without a trial, what evidence do we have? We never had anything concrete. That's why we needed him here. Are you telling me the killer might still be out there? The crooked man ordered their deaths. He's behind it. He ordered it? Well, then who the fuck did it? Georgie did. Georgie? Where's Georgie now? If we bring him in for questioning, we... What? Where is he? Big B? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Georgie paid for what he did. In the end... There was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. I don't even know what to say to you right now. Maybe that's not such a bad thing. You're on board with this? I don't know. I mean, it's not like the crooked man didn't deserve it. And if Georgie killed them... You think anyone deserves this? Your job is to keep Fabletown safe. The minute you start abusing your position by attacking people, we betray the trust of this community. And killing those people out there, on your own, without my... without due process, it makes us look like... Like killers? How could you do this? It's just one thing after another. Look, I'm glad he's fucking dead. But like this? What does it really matter? You should be thanking me. I took care of the crooked man and Georgie. It's all over because of what I did. I can't believe this. I made myself very clear. This is not okay. Snow's right. This is disgusting. Oh, it's much worse than that. What? Are you guys buddy-buddy with the crooked man all of a sudden? What the fuck is wrong with you? Grand. Everyone! That's enough! Bigby, I can't protect you without the support of this community. The minute you kill another suspect, I won't be able to stop them from calling for your resignation. And yours. I'd like to see them try. I don't plan on going anywhere. You keep doing crap like this, and that won't be up to you. Listen, maybe you were right this time about the Crooked Man, but what happens when you're wrong? The second you make a mistake about someone, I won't watch you become a murderer. I think it's too late for that. Then don't. Just keep your nose clean and pretend it never happened. I don't care. I'm not gonna change the way I do things. Having some personnel issues, Miss White? Can't control your mutt? Bluebeard, this is hardly the time. It looks like as long as the wolf thinks you're guilty, he has free reign to murder you in your sleep. No. That's not Is this how... what we can expect from now on? Yeah, you make one mistake and Bigby's gonna rip your head off? Hey, that's not fair. Nah, I'll just bat you around for a while. Make sure you get thoroughly fucked up. That's not going to happen. Or just beat us to death. Are we even protected anymore? If we're throwing out the ch Just don't break the law. You have nothing to worry about as long as you're following the rules. The punishment doesn't always fit the crime, though. Does it? Which is why I wanted to deal with the crooked man here. That was the plan. That was your plan. Please, the sheriff isn't going you to- You see? The wolf does whatever the hell he wants, and the princess is no better. Now hang on a minute. You don't believe me? They came to my apartment, and then for no earthly reason, she wanted my tree destroyed. What? Why would you do that? She was helping people glamour themselves as other fates. 
We couldn't let that continue. I can't say I'm fucking surprised. I am. Snow, how could you do that? None of this matters. I'm not here to talk about your damn tree. It doesn't matter. Bigby just means It that matters to me. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man So that makes me a villain? You can pretend it's about law and order, but it's time you stopped lying to yourself. You wanted to get back at me for what Crane did. But that doesn't justify it. You both just act out of your own selfish desires. It doesn't matter what's right. At this point, I'd rather have Crane. You don't mean that. At least Crane didn't kick the shit out of everybody. Or destroy what's ours. He also earned the position. Don't start. He left us alone. You know what? You'd rather have Crane? Then you fucking deserve it. You fucked up your own lives. Dealing with criminals. Making your own bad fucking choices. And now you want to blame us for your screwed up situation. I've been trying to fix the mess you made. How dare you? Is this how it's gonna be? You're gonna blame us. Big B's right. You people don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Do you seriously think you want Crane back? He was an asshole, and he didn't do shit for any of you. Snow and Bigby found my sister, when Crane wouldn't even look. Yeah, but they only came around when they thought it was Snow White who ate it. No, they cared about Lily. They care about all of us. Even if they've got a funny way of showing it sometimes. Thank you, Holly. Oh, come on, Holly. Maybe Snow gives a fuck, but Bigby? I mean, this, I get. But I didn't do shit wrong, and I got tossed around your fucking bar. That was different, Gren. Holly's right. Crooked Man took over my shop, but Bigby tried to help me out. Everyone, please, just calm down. We have a right to be heard. Are you afraid of what we have to say? This isn't helping. I'm not finished. Like we give a Need shit. some help, Miss White. Just a minute. This can't continue. <gasps> Bigby. Don't. Please. Do not blame this sheriff for his outburst. It isn't Bigby's fault. He can't control his nature. And frankly, I wouldn't dare ask him to try. But with a sheriff so impulsive, shouldn't the new deputy mayor have at least some command over her office? Blue beard? Are either of them fit to run this town? Can I say something? Excuse me? Nerissa. Who the hell is she? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa. Please step aside. What is the meaning of this? You're done. I haven't been able to speak my mind for a long time. We were prisoners at that club. We had nowhere to go. No one cared enough. Certainly not Crane. You're acting like they haven't done anything good in the last few days, but you know that's not true. Because of the Sheriff, and Snow, I can finally talk about what happened to me. To all of us. We're free now. And I think that should count for something. Thank you, Nerissa. She's right. We haven't been there for you in the past. And I'll be the first to admit we've made plenty of mistakes. But I truly want what's best for this town, and we're trying to make things right. And that may not always be clear right away. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And I'm sure Bigby does too. It's going to take some time to clean up Crane's mess, but he's gone now. The Crooked Man is dead, the killer has been found, and you can all rest easy knowing we're here to look out for you. I'll make sure of it. While that's all very touching, is it enough? I'm still not convinced Miss White has what it takes to control the Sheriff, or run this town. I am. We haven't really given them a chance. Crane just left. Let's see what Snow and Bigby can do on their own. I trust Snow to do right by us. Bigby too. I think they've had enough chances. Things are finally changing around here. Maybe you don't feel it, but I do. Bigby and Snow are good for Fable Town. She's right. Now that things have settled down, I'm sure they can do better. And we will. Right, Sheriff?
I'll do what works. We'll see. You see that? It's finally over. Good riddance, at least. This won't end well. Shit. It's over now. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay, great. This fucking line. Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to... I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Colin, Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. We forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Ugh. Shit! Just go grab that, would you? It's just a farm. You don't have to be so dramatic about it. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White? Please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her, she was nice. Look, I'm kind of busy here. Please. Sorry, kid. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. 
do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. Your dad broke the rules, TJ. You're not allowed to stay in Fable Town without a glamour. <laughs> okay. Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Bigby! Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? Colin gets to stay. That's bullshit, Bigby, and you know it! You're all fucking corrupt. Saying goodbye? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... It's just... Let me help. Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Okay? Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? Narissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. So you sold them out? No. Yes. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> what happened? Can you tell me anything else? I don't know what happened. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in. And I had to watch while Georgie... It was my fault. I sold them out. And she just... And Lily? <sighs> That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. So, that piece of fabric I found near there, that was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you... you started all this? I just... pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. I'm sorry, Narissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. 
Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. I just... I go out there and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. But at the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. But they'll come around. You'll see. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. If you hadn't killed the crooked man back there, he would have just talked his way out of it like he always does. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. No. It doesn't matter what I do. In the end, it's all the same shit it always was. You're wrong. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around.